I'll be taking a look at Hoodoo's new iPAM feature. We'll show you how it looks within the company, the features that come along with it, and then how to set it up within the admin section of your Hoodoo instance. Let's go to one of our examples. Clicking into our company, we can find our IPAM features by going into the network section underneath the core tools. Here we'll be able to see our managed networks or create a new one. Let's start by showing what it looks like creating a blank item. Here we'll add the IP and then next to that we can add our subnet mask which will then determine how many addresses will be available. Below that we can choose a parent network as well as the status and roles. We can customize these lists which we'll show later allowing us to choose the types of statuses and roles that we'd like for our networks as well as the specific IPs we'll be managing. Then of course we can add our description and comments. Our managed networks will show us a quick highlighted view of certain details like our CIDR range, a quick note like in this case why we're managing this information, as well as our utilization rate. Clicking into this network though we can see more details around the specific network. The same information as before, as well as the number of usable IP addresses in total, and those available after we've already created and managed a few. And that's how we'll get our IP utilization rate. Those description and comments can be customized, as well as the other details around our network. Below our details, we can see our managed IP addresses. We can filter them by a specific address, or by a status that we've assigned to each IP. In this case, if I select the assigned version, we'll see only those that have been assigned to specific items within our instance. These are a direct relationship, so if I click into my desktop here, we'll be able to see specific details around that asset. Taking a step back, we can also add other types of related items. So if we have something relevant like a article that isn't necessarily tied to a specific IP address, we can have it related to the general network instead. When we're ready to add a new IP, select the button here. We'll be able to add our IP address, select a status, below that we can add our description and assign it to a device within our instance. If we want to search all of our assets, we can select the global search here and we'll pull from all companies, not just the one we are currently located in. Below is our FQDM and comments associated with this specific address. When we're ready to add, we can add our address here and Hoodoo will automatically authenticate it based on your CIDR range. So if I hit create, this is outside of our range and Hoodoo will let us know. Each network also has its own dedicated export and import functions. So we can export our data via CSV, and we can also import our data from other platforms. It's also worth mentioning that we are able to get an export of this specific network as a CSV, including all the IP addresses, so we can bulk update this information. We can make those changes and then go to re-import that data, and then the network will reflect those changes. Finally, we'll show you how to start using these tools. In the admin section under the basic setup, we'll see our networks and racks here. Clicking into this, we can set up our network defaults and the list to choose from our statuses and roles. Lists can help standardize the information associated to assets, and in this example, roles and statuses of a network. We have roles to identify network's purpose and statuses for essential context. By default, we won't have a network status or network roles, so be sure to click into the list feature. Now we can either start from scratch building those roles and statuses exactly how we'd like, or Hoodoo also has them from a list of templates. By selecting new list from templates, we'll see what's available, and in our examples, we use these exact network roles and statuses. There is also the option to change and adjust these lists, even if they come from a template. So this network role, for example, is using that template I showed before, but we can still add new items and apply those changes if there are additional roles that we'd like to add. When we're ready, you'll be able to go back to your network section and choose those from the lists you've created.
We hope you enjoyed this brief overview of our new iPAM feature set. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which we have linked down below.